I've bought by Hereford manager Russell Slade. Um, where to start in that game? Um, must be bitterly disappointed that you haven't got something out of it. Very much so. I mean, we've, we've gone a goal down. I have to say that the, the worst part of the game, from our point of view, was the first 20 minutes. Um, we're a little bit late getting here. There's a little bit of a rush to get organised, and sometimes that, that caught us on the hop a little bit, and not trying to make excuses for the players. But we were a goal down in that period. Probably deserved to be a goal down, but we started grinding our way back into the game, got right back into the game, deserved to get into the game. There were some bizarre things happening in that first period where, you know, Dawson's broken through. There's a decision 15 seconds earlier that the referee decides to bring it back for when he's made a perfectly good finish to equalise. Um, of course, we get, we get probably, to be fair, a little bit of fortune with the penalty, which I felt was just outside the box, not inside the box. Um, but that gets us, OK, in terms of merit, we deserve that because we'd taken control in the last 15 minutes of the game. And I thought we were got on top and I thought the game was there set for us in that second period to go on and win. Do you think the referee levelled it up because he realised, mm, yeah, I shouldn't really have chalked that one off? I, I, I wouldn't like to say what he was thinking. I'm, I'm not sure he knows what he was thinking. He, he but, looked a very poor, weak referee to me. Well, that's uh, you, my opinion. Well, um, that's your opinion and um, who am I to disagree with that? Second half, you know, you came more and more into it. had a very adventurous bench. Uh, pivotal moment, probably restart your second penalty. Yeah, and we, we, we deserved it. And by the way, should have had a third penalty. There was a very, very clear handball in the box and he should have given that. M maybe he was fed up because he'd already given us two. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, no, there should have been a third penalty. Uh, but, but look, on the other side of the on the other side of it, in a game where we took control in the second period, we've still gone and conceded three goals. That's two away games. That's six goals. And by the way, we scored four, and it could have been more than four, as you've seen tonight. Yeah. So we've got that ability to score, but we can't we can't go conceding the types of goals that we've conceded tonight and expect every single time to go and win it four three. It's not, it's, it's not that easy, the game. We've got to be solid, got to be reliable, got to value the basics at the back and do them properly all the way through the game. One player who certainly did that and gave a debut, very experienced player in Stephen Dawson. Um, how did you feel he played? He did great. You, you know when you consider, I think he's had about 70 minutes with um, Rochdale under-23s. He has been training there um, quite regularly over, over the last um, three weeks. So, so I knew he was in reasonable condition. He'll get stronger and fitter, there's no doubt about that, because he hasn't played a lot of football. But, I mean, his, his influence, his knowledge, um, he, he's drove twice, two or three times, as and he's drove forward with the ball. One he's scored and the other one he's, he, he's, he's drawn um, a, a penalty. So, you know, I mean, he's going, to be, he's going to be a key figure for us going forward, no doubt about it. So he looks a leader on the pitch. He was encouraging all the way through that match. Yes, no, 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 you, you, you need talkers. And, talk, and the communication at times, at times, it, it, it leaves me staggered because, the, you know, with a little bit more talking at the right time, we could organise ourselves in terms of overloading the opposition. There was a prime example in the last five minutes when... When Popey and Kieran both go for the same ball, they could have organised themselves. Overload got the cross in. Just talk. Just organise yourselves. Organise each other a little bit better. That will come with those kind of players with time. But they've got to start. They've got to start coming to the show now. They've got to start doing that now. We, we need to move forward. Um, and in terms of possession between the two boxers, I thought I thought we, we we moved the ball quite well at times in the second period. As I say, in terms of getting on top of a game away from home, that's probably as good as we've done between the two boxers. But we all know it's about those two boxers as well. They're massively important that we keep, we shut them out that end and that we penetrate at the other end. Basics. Um, Alfredson, Absolutely. <laughs> Alfredson at the weekend, they're in the top five, so, you know, it'd be something, another test for you, I suppose. Do you know what annoys me? We should be in the top five. That's what annoys me. Absolutely. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and, they're, they're, and they don't know it yet at the minute. And I, I, I hope, I hope we don't look back in a month's time, three months' time or whatever and go, oh, we perhaps should have won that one there. We would have been in a better position. We've got to do something about it now. Thanks for your time. Pleasure.